One of the big issues that people have about text is the ability to be able to create 3D extruded text inside a Sony Vegas Pro. Now, there are lots of different ways of creating extruded text. There are free ways of doing it, although they do take some learning and they're quite complicated. But if you want good and you want fast extruded text, or you want to move into more advanced 3D environments with inside Sony Vegas, you do actually have to start paying money and moving on from just the standard. For example, I've got a standard extruded piece of text. So this is text with layer dimensionality applied to the text. And then I've gone to the track motion tab and I've gone down, if you remember, to 3D source alpha and so that I can kind of just about, if I get Y, there's Y, I can actually sort of move it around. But you'll notice when you get end on, it is absolutely flat. It looks fine when it's not end on. It does look like it's got some sort of depth to it. But the truth is, when it is absolutely end on, it is flat. Okay, so this is one way of doing it, but it does use the track motion option, which to me is a little bit of a, of a nuisance. I'd like to be able to do it on an event by event basis as opposed to having to take up a whole track to do it. Now, you can do it this way and you can get some really good results this way. However, we're going to look at some different options. I'm just going to X this off and I'm going to pull over my browser just to show you some options that we've got here. Now, there are free options and we're going to go through some of these. I'm not going to go through this particular one. Blender is actually a 3D modeling application that's free. You can download it for free and you can learn to create lots of 3D bits and pieces. If you do use Blender, you have to export the files from Blender and then import them into Sony Vegas for editing and your final creation. So you would, generally speaking, export an image sequence. The reason you would export an image sequence is no compression. You want to not actually compress your files when you take them out of a 3D application. Because if you compress them when you export them, say you export them to a, um, a, an MP4 format or a H.264 format or something like that, you are already compressing them. So when you bring them into Sony Vegas and you work on them and export them from there, then you're going to re-compress them and that is going to add multiplication damage to your files. So what you do is you export with an image sequence, which is pretty much uncompressed, a TIFF, a TARGA, a DPX, a, even a PNG sequence, a high quality sequence. You export it from your application, such as Blender. You can bring it into Sony Vegas and work with it there as a, you would any other video event. Okay, so that's a free way of doing it. Um, it takes some learning, it takes some getting used to. You can go completely to the other end of the scale if you really want to get into 3D modeling. I've got 3DS Max. 3DS Max costs in the region of £3,000 or $5,000 to buy. And then you have to pay your subscriptions, which cost an absolute fortune each year. So you really only go to that route if you're going to be serious about 3D modeling. Okay, because it's a very expensive solution. The results are out of this world. But even so, you have to export image sequences that can then be used and edited in Sony Vegas. So those are the two ends of the extremes when it comes to the modeling software. There are a couple of other options as well, which are quite interesting. One I particularly like, which is $299 inside of Sony Vegas, which is what I'm going to show you in the next tutorial, is the BCC Units 3D Objects. And this allows you to extrude and shatter and shape and texture 3D text inside of Sony Vegas. And it is true 3D text. So it really will have depth when you get to the edge of it. So it's a really powerful option. You can see there's quite a few bits and pieces that you can actually have here, which are really powerful. So we'll look at that in the next tutorial. And then moving on from that, slightly more expensive if we go to Hit Film. Now, Hit Film integrates with Sony Vegas. So you can send an item off. You can send a piece of video off to Hit Film. And you can add 3D text, extrude and shatter 3D text inside of HitFilm. But HitFilm is a separate program. It is a visual effects and compositing program that works seamlessly with Sony Vegas and is absolutely fantastic. If you've got the Sony Vegas Ultimate, you'll have access to this anyway. You can see the price is $100 more. It's about £299 in UK pounds. It's a very powerful program, but it is an external program. What you do is you send it from Sony Vegas to HitFilm. You do all your compositing work, your special effects, whatever you want to do in HitFilm 2. And then you send that back to Sony Vegas and it all updates and saves. So it's a brilliant workaround and it's a really good system for particularly for 3D extruded text. And also things like motion tracking and chroma keying. But you can do all of that also with 
with the Boris effects, but you would have to buy additional modules to go with it. Okay, the next option is something by a company called Zaxworks, and it's called Zaxworks Pro Animator. Now, this is $599, but it is a standalone 3D modeling application, kind of like Blender and 3DS Max, but it's designed for fast animation, particularly for doing things such as logos, um, stings, backdrops, the bits and pieces that you would have inside a, uh, a, a newsstand. So somebody before a green screen, you can create a, an artificial news desk or whatever. This is a really powerful animating product. Again, you need to export from it. And as you export from it, you would export a, an image sequence because it is a standalone application. It also integrates in with things like After Effects. But as a standalone application, it really works very powerfully to allow you to create some amazing bits and pieces. But again, you have to export them as image sequences that you import into Sony Vegas Pro. So as you can see, there are a lot of different options for creating 3D extruded text. Some of them are going to deal just with the 3D extrusion and the bits and pieces around them. Some of them will offer you lots of other options as well. And some of them are designed to not just do 3D extruded text, but to build up whole 3D environments inside of the program, which you can then export from that 3D program into Sony Vegas. So over the next few tutorials, I'm not going to go to the, the, the Blender or the 3DS Max, but I will do the extrude with Boris hit film and pro animator just to give you an idea of how they work my name's andrew davis and thanks for watching